Hello people of YouTube, I'm John and today we have a locomotive from Atlas to take a look at. So let's head over to the workbench. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. This is an HO scale Alco S4 switcher. This comes from Atlas. It's part of their master series, so as such, it'll have some really nice detail on it. You can see some of it already. The model comes with a warranty and registration card, as usual, as well as a quick start guide for the TCC and the obligatory exploded view drawings. It's also packed in this cradle with screws that go into the fuel tank. The good thing about the cradle is that it holds everything in place and I've never had a model with a cradle like this come with damaged parts. So it works really well. Apparently this one was screwed in by Hercules. So I've had to use a couple of different screwdrivers and quite a bit of brute strength to get this thing off of the cradle. You can get these with or without DCC installed at the factory. The DCC ready ones go for $174.95. And the ones that come with the DCC installed from the factory go for $284.95. Now they do have undecorated versions that cost a little bit less. I would strongly recommend to go to Atlas's website and see if they have what you're looking for because there are a lot of different road names and road numbers available. This particular one happens to be decorated for Santa Fe. So we'll look at the engineer side first. And you can see from the video here that the separation lines in the paint are all very crisp. And the paint, especially that blue base coat, is done in such a way that it's not so thick that it obscures any details. All of the little louver and grill detail here on the side looks very good. Something else that's mentioned on the Atlas website is that this is newly tooled with an improved cab design. So if you have an older run of this model, it probably doesn't look this good. Now looking at the front of the model, you can see these are individually applied thin wire grabs. And this one that wraps around from the side to the front, I can't really point to it. There it is. This one looks pretty cool because you can see it attaches on the side of the locomotive near the front and then over here on the front. That's pretty cool. Also looking at the front from this angle, you can see that it has details in the pilot and it has this knuckle coupler and there's a cut bar here uh, for the uncoupling. Additionally, something I'm noticing that I think is pretty cool, uh, two things. One, the logo is rendered very well on the front of this. If you magnify that, it looks really good. And the walkways have a diamond tread on them, which is pretty cool. As always, we'll take a look at the front from this angle, and you can see this also has a sort of a matching wraparound grab on this side, and it may be more noticeable that the walkways have that tread on them from this angle. Something else that's really cool, and I've noticed this a lot in newer models, is that the uh, handrails are nice and straight. I mean, there's some variation back in here, which is probably not as noticeable because it's a little out of focus, but they're to scale and very straight. One thing that I really like about this particular paint job is how the handrails are all yellow. Even the stanchions are blue, so there's a nice contrast between the yellow and the blue on this paint scheme. Looking at the fireman side, you can see what I was just mentioning about how straight the handrail looks. Also from this side, you can see that the horn is just tucked right up in here under the front of the cab. Taking a brief look at the back detail, you can see that they're very thin wire grabs, again, back here, as well as the separately applied handrails. And you can see there's also a cut bar down here for the uncoupling. And you can also see there's the uh, knuckle coupler that it comes with. Something I'm finding a little unusual about this model is it doesn't have any cab figures inside. All of the Atlas models, or I should say most of the Atlas models I've had in the past, I don't know, 
10 years came with cab figures. So it's a little strange to me that they're missing. They're kind of conspicuously absent, if you will. We usually don't do an end shot like this, but I wanted to show you the numbers printed very clearly here. This little fuel filler hatch and the fact that it says fuel is very obvious. And then you can see there's an air hose down here. There's actually quite a bit of detail on this model. And this is the last three quarter view that we'll look at before we abandon the sides of this model. I do want to show you some detail in the trucks. And I'm not used to seeing details like this little bit up here. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it probably has something to do with the brake system. But these trucks seem a bit more detailed than what I'm used to. That may be part of the new tooling they're talking about on the website for these models. And now for a quick look at the top of the model, you can see it has some molded hatch detail in it. And this top walkway over here looks like a separately applied part. And then it also looks to me like the smokestack is a separately applied part. One of the really cool things that I'm noticing about this model is that it has really fine lift ring detail. And here's a picture of those lift rings looking from a lower angle. They look like separately applied wire parts. All right, so it's time to run the model. Okay, now we'll take a look at the lights. They're directional and they come on with the F0 key. And as you can see, the lights on the side of the engine are the number boards. Those also come on with the F0 key. And when I switch it into reverse, then the headlight on the rear of the locomotive comes on and it's really bright. You can't see it because it's off camera, but it's actually illuminating the track in front of it, like a real headlight from a real locomotive. Looks really good. This is a really nice model, and I think anybody that models early diesel era or maybe late transition era on their layout would love to have one. It runs really well. It looks great. It sounds great. It's great. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.